What's going on you guys? And I'm going to be making a video for beginners and it's going to be called how to simply access your router but please note one thing that every router is going to be different if it's by a different brand if it's a Netgear, Linksys, or Belkin but I'm going to be using a Netgear router so let's go ahead and proceed on to the video as you see we got my we, your first thing you want to do is open up your browser as I already did I got my browser already open right here on this address box you want to type in on some routers it's going to be 192.168.1.1 but some newer net gears use 10 10.10.10.1 and you're going to ask for a password and username basically the username is admin and the pack your normal password would be password unless if you want to change that which I'm going to get show you how to do that in the video if it's a Linksys router for the, you just got to put in the password box admin so this is what the Netgear Genie looks like and it tells you all about all your information and yes I'm gonna upgrade my firmware but not right now because I'm doing a video but I will do it after so we're gonna go ahead and click wireless And right here, where it says name SSID, that's the name of your wireless connection. You can always change that. And you can change the um, your security on how you want your um, password to be set up or your wireless key, whatever you call it. And right here is the, the channel it's on. I have, it's set to auto and this right here is going to be the guest network which you can have that optionally on but it can even get disabled See, look, you just place an unchecked box right here, and you can just enable the get disable the guest network. Which I'm going to be doing, which is not hardly being used, and which is pretty useless. And we got to please, and this is right here is your parental controls. And it pops up in another window. And I'm going to show you the advanced tab while I'm at it. Under security, you can even um, block websites with the router. You can always use certain trusted IP addresses on the router. You can add it by via keyword. And you can set a schedule on what days you want to block your websites and all that good stuff. You can even block services. Mm. 
And it's just the same old stuff white right now. As you see, I went to, ever since I switched to the advanced tab. But if you want to do it the easy way, where you, if you have a bunch of, if you're too lazy to do everything, you can um, simply do the setup wizard. This is what the advanced tone look like. So that's all for now, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and log on out of here. So basically, if you need some help, a sit wanting to know more about your router you can please leave a comment below and um hope you enjoyed the video hope it was was simply helped you out and thanks for watching bye